Raw's done. Look, I'm gonna say this 100% right here, right now. Raw sucked. The ending was good, but it didn't save it for me. It sucked. And I'm gonna make it very clear. First thing, I think it was a 10-man tag for the Cruiserweights. What was the point? What was the point of that stupid tag match? What did this do for Enzo Amore? People you guys know. People know. You guys know. Enzo Amore is the only thing that's making the Cruiserweights relevant. I, I just want to yell. I, I was about to yell, yell right now. I'm so angry. You ruined Enzo Amore. The only thing you can do now is to make him a manager again. Because as the Cruiserweights are concerned, it's over. He had something for the company. And they ruined him by giving him now people to work with. And then letting Callisto job his ass out on Raw instead of the signature pay-per-view of Survivor Series. That would have made sense in Survivor Series. But here, and two weeks or a week before, was stupid. I'm just saying. Here's another thing that was dumb. Oscar versus Emma. Two. There was no point for Emma to be doing this again with Oscar. They should have just let Oscar come out and talk or have an interview. And then you can have her be introduced to the other women. That would have been a better concept than this match. Now, I'm not saying the match was bad. I'm not. It was almost as good as the match they had last night, which was the second best, third, well, not the, the second best match of the night. I take that back. It was the second best match of the night. It was. No, no, it wasn't. I'm sorry. The third best match of the night. It just was. I'm getting things confused because I'm so angry. Because there was no point in this. No one needs to dispute that Emma can't go in the ring. No one doesn't need to dispute that Asuka can go in the ring. But you're supposed to be booking Asuka as a destroyer of the women's division. And she struggled last night with Emma. And then you suit her up again and have her in the ring again with Emma. And she goes through the same freaking thing again. Does not put her over. That doesn't help Asuka. And in fact, it doesn't help Emma either because we know Emma is a jobber. It's not because I want to see her as a jobber. I remember Emma being the very first woman from NXT to come up. The Emma Evolution came up first before Paige, before any of the others. She was the first one. And that doesn't count Naomi, and it doesn't count on Cameron, who came in through FCW, and then went through NXT, and then go through there. Emma was NXT only. So there's the difference. And now what do we get? We get Asuka struggling again, which made no freaking sense. I'm sorry, it just didn't make any sense. It didn't. Then here's another thing. Finn Balor versus the Big Red Machine. Why? You just let him win over AJ Styles when you could have just, hell, you could have just had a double DQ. You could have done that. You could have done a double DQ that neither one could answer the 10 count, knocked out. Or a double count out, something that would have protected them both. But no, let Finn Balor win over that match. And that was the second, third, no, what was the second best match in the night for me? I can't remember because... No, I think it was the third best match of the night or the second best match of the night. I cannot remember right now because I'm so angry about this. It isn't because I am a Finn Balor fan. I like him, but I don't think he's the best wrestler. AJ Styles is a far superior wrestler than him because his tools of the trade are much more established than him. But you just put him up against Kane, who just started coming back. And it's obvious he's going to be having a few with, with basically Braun Strowman because they're not willing to push Braun Strowman. They weren't willing to pull the trigger. They should let him have the title. And if it didn't work, they could have let him job out to Brock Lesnar by the Survivor Series, which wouldn't have hurt him too much. But you didn't let him do it. So now he's got to be like this, dealing with a guy who hasn't been seen for a while, who, yeah, he's strong right now, but always at one point he falters. And then you let him eat Finn Balor. Which made no sense. Now, I want to say that the triple threat to become the captain of the women's team <laughs> fell onto the hands or into the hands of a crazy Alicia Fox. Really? You haven't done anything with Alicia Fox 
for almost a year, WWE. And I'm not talking about 205 Live and her working there with Ulandar. I'm talking about her by herself. By herself as a woman's wrestler. Not a woman's superstar. A wrestler. To get a storyline. To actually be doing something. Nothing. And then you give her this. When you could have gave it to Bailey, which honestly I didn't want to see Bailey do it, but you could have done it. Or Sasha. Mind you, Sasha's been in the shit house for quite a while now. I'm sorry for the cursing, but here it's got to be stated. Bailey has been treated like nothing. Sasha has gone from here. That's been Sasha. So the person who literally has not even been seen on Raw most of the time because she's been on 205 Live for a while, gets the <laughs> gets the captain's position. I can't believe this mess. This is ridiculous. Now, opening up the show. The Bar and the Miz. I believe it was the Miz. Versus the Shield and AJ Styles. Honestly, they could have skipped this match. Didn't need to do it. It was good to see AJ Styles wrestle on Raw, but it doesn't mean it was necessary. It just wasn't. Now, um, what else? I'm trying to remember the rest. I didn't write no damn notes for this mess. Uh, I'll say this about Elias dealing with Jason Jordan. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see Elias, who is really doing well as a heel. I said this last night in my TLC review. He's doing great as a heel. And then he's jobbing his ass out to Jason Jordan. And being harassed by Jason Jordan. And then they have this match. And he breaks a guitar on Jason Jordan's shoulder. Which was a nasty. That was a real hit ladies and gentlemen. That must have been a solid, solid, solid guitar. Because he gave Jason Jordan a nice juicy bruise. But I didn't care. I don't want to see Jason Jordan working with Elias. I don't. I want to see him do something else. I want to see Elias build up. I want to see Jason Jordan actually do something with Kurt Angle, which they supposed to book because he's supposed to be his son and they keep referring to it and they haven't done nothing about it. Nothing about it. I'm just, I'm just saying. <sighs> Let's see here. Brock Lesnar and Paul Heyman. Was I interested in the, the segment? Yes, I was interested in the segment. It would have been nice if Brock had said something. Paul is not bad on the mic, but it is becoming heavily repetitive with him. Because it's always about Brock. And it would be nice if it was somebody else that he's working with to make him fresh again. Because honestly, Paul Heyman was like this about a year and a half ago. He's here. He just is not interesting as he was before. I'm just saying. But I am glad they did try to Basically, piss off Jinder Mahal. Hopefully, there'll be something special tomorrow with Jinder. Maybe they'll allow him to win a match clean to show that he can go up against Brock without help. Without help. This is what I've been saying for a while. Jinder Mahal needs to win clean for a little while without no one's help. That shows that he has ability because no one even cares because they just think this is a complete joke with a jobber and a champion. That's what they're seeing Brock Lesnar and Jinder Mahal in that order. Now, final thing I'm going to talk about, and I'm sure I missed a lot, but I'm not talking about everything. This is the ending of the show. You got got, sucker. I think that's the best word to say. When it comes down to this situation, I saw Shane McMahon. I thought, hmm, this is going to be interesting. He doesn't come to Raw. Something's got to happen. I wonder what. I didn't expect it to be this. Now, you would think that Shane McMahon would have to be angry at something to happen on Raw for this to happen. No. He just comes in with some SmackDown guys and girls and kicks ass. And where was Naomi? Where was Naomi? Where was Na if she's injured, I understand. If she's doing a movie, I understand. But if she was not injured and she wasn't doing a movie, and you guys can tell me below, why the fuck wasn't she there? Why wasn't she fighting? Why wasn't she there? I I I'm just saying. I'm glad Tamina was there, but no Naomi. 
It was Becky. It was wait. It was Becky. It was Natalia. It was Carmella, and it was Tamina. That's what we had. Now they basically beat the crap out of everybody to make a statement. Hmm. You know this would be good if Raw was going to go to SmackDown tomorrow and try to kick their asses as well. Because there's no freaking way in hell that will not happen. And this is why I find this okay. It was interesting. But it means nothing if both sides get back at each other immediately. Let's say that Raw does not retaliate immediately. Let's say they wait two weeks from now. That actually would make it a little bit better, a little change up. But do I believe that's going to happen? No! Because Raw is going to do an immediate response. It doesn't really matter if they do manage to get enough hits in. They're going to do an immediate response, which I find to be stupid. Stupid. And I don't care if it's the entire roster of Raw or Brock Lesnar himself going there. Or Kane by himself. Or the Shield by themselves. And they kick ass. Point is, constantly and always doing an immediate response sucks ass. Because it's so telegraphed and it's boring. Was this show better than TLC? Not really. Pretty much on par with it. Pretty much the same. It was a bit surprising to see the fight. But I know what's going to happen next. Tomorrow, they're going to have a retaliation. Now, if they don't retaliate... There's just maybe a Titantron talk. I will be interested. And I will say it here on my review tomorrow that I'm not interested that they didn't actually just go there immediately and try to kick everybody's ass. But this is just my point of view. You guys tell me below and tell me what I should have talked about. Have a good day. Have a good night.